Welcome back to another episode here on the Eternal Sith Network where you get all your Star Wars news. Today we have some major news on Jedi Fallen Order 2, which is Jedi Survivor. But before we do start, there, remember hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. And once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one, give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. So it appears that Jedi Survivor, yes, which is the sequel to Jedi Fallen Order, the release date has accidentally been revealed. Now, according to a date that had been posted on Steam, Star Wars Jedi Survivor is expected to release on March 15th. So that's big news because we also know that The Mandalorian Season 3 will be debuting on March 1st. So I guess March is going to be a big month. And this supports the reports that a major IP game would be released in early 2023, as well as claims as the sequel game was still on track for that March release date. The game release date is expected to officially be announced at the Game Awards this Thursday, December 8th, along with a pre-order date and a new trailer. The following image that I'm about to show you shows Jedi Survivor's cosmetics available for pre-order. So when we see the pre-purchase here, we have the Galactic Hero Cosmetic Pack. And there you see the Scoundrel Cosmic, which is Han Solo. Then we see the Rugged Cosmetic BD-1 and Han Solo's Blaster, which is pretty dope. Then we have, yes, the new Hero Cosmetic Pack, which we have Rebel Hero Cosmetic, which is obviously Luke Skywalker. We have the BD-1 Droid Cosmetic for R2-D2. And we have luke skywalker's lightsaber now it looks a little different but i think it's just the way it looks on the image here but i think it's going to be the regular one that you'll be able to use in the video game which is pretty cool the game will also have a bonus cosmetic available as well and it looks like we have the hermit cosmetic which is the obi-wan kenobi attire that we got to see at the end of the kenobi series also in the comic run series that we got to see him wear and we also have Obi-Wan Kenobi's The Phantom Menace lightsaber, which is really dope. Then we see here another blaster as well. So if March 15th is that release date for Jedi Survivor, the game won't be the only Cal Kestis content released that week. We're also going to be having Star Wars Jedi Battle Scars, a book set between the events of Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor releasing on the 7th of March. So that's going to be a big big week for star wars in general and just that month i mean think about it like i said in the beginning of this video we're gonna have mandalorian season 3 debuting march 1st then we have this game coming out the 8th then we have battle scars the book i mean there's a lot of star wars content i mean or just material that's gonna come out next year so next year is gonna be a big year guys especially the month of march which is around the corner from star wars celebration so there's a lot to expect for 2023 especially the beginning of it comment down below if you're excited and you're gonna be getting this game for your console of either ps5 ps4 or xbox one if i'm not mistaken i don't have an xbox so i can't really tell you i don't really know the name like that i'm more of a ps5 type of a guy but i don't even have one myself but i will be getting one now and i will be streaming it once i get this game and once i get my playstation 5 but comment down below guys i think that this is a cool um thing that they're doing with the bonus packages seeing that we're gonna get to be able to have different attire and actual attire from the actual star wars movies seeing that we're gonna have it one from the kenobi series which is recent which is really really cool I mean, to be honest with you, I like that we're going to be able to have the lightsabers, the, the regular movie replica lightsabers. That's really dope. And I hope that there's more DLC packages that they'll be releasing. And we know that always ends up happening. They did that with the first one. They do that with a lot of the games when it's like a continuation of something. They always have like more stuff that's going to come out for, which is really, really cool. And I honestly comment down below. What more would you want to see in this game? Do you want to see more lightsabers from other characters from Star Wars? Do you want to see different attires? I mean, I, I would I would say we want it all, right? But comment down below whose lightsaber you want to see make to this video game. That'd be cool if they added Star Killer's lightsaber. I just I'm just saying, just throwing that out there. I love Star Killer. So, but it'd be cool to see other ones as well. Even like the Inquisitor's lightsaber 
or even Savage Opress. I love his lightsaber too. But anyway, guys, again, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this news today. Remember, for more Star Wars content, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bells. I'll have another video tomorrow. And remember, the Eternal Sith then, now, forever. Later, guys.